Hello everyone, this is Teacher Juvi and I will be your guide for today's lesson. Let us discuss solving routine problems involving division with any other operations of fractions and whole numbers. In solving routine problem, we're going to use FOIA's four-step problem solving method. And these are the following steps. Step 1, we're going to understand the problem by answering what is asked and what is or the given numbers. Then the second step is to plan. So we're going to plan for the operation to be used and what is the number sentence. The third step is to solve. So you're going to show your solution on how we solve the problem. And the fourth step is to check and look back. So we're going to state our answer to the problem. Let us apply Polya's four-step problem-solving method to this problem. So let's read and analyze the problem. There are five liters of milkshakes. Each girl can consume one-fifth liter of milkshakes per serving. For how many girls Marielle is preparing milkshakes? Applying the first step, which is to understand the problem. So, we're going to answer the question, what is asked in the problem? So, how many girls Marielle is preparing milkshakes? Then, the given numbers are 5 liters of milkshakes and 1 fifth liter of milkshakes per serving. So the second step is plan. We're going to plan for the operation and the operation that we're going to use is division of fractions. Then the number sentence will be 5 divided by 1 fifth is equal to n. We can now solve the problem since we already now have our number sentence. So, we have 5 divided by 1 fifth is equal to n. So, ang first step natin in dividing a uh, uh, simple fraction is we change or we get the reciprocal of the divisor. So, dito ang ating divisor is 1 fifth. Kaya kukunin natin ang kanyang reciprocal. Ito ay 5 over 1. Then, we change the division sign to multiplication sign. So, magiging 5 times 5 over 1 is equal to n. Then, we can now proceed on multiplying fraction. So, we multiply 5 times 5 over 1 is equal to n. And the answer will be 5 times 5 is 25 over 1 and 25 divided by 1 is 25. Okay, so to check if our answer is correct, we're going to apply the fourth step, which is, which is to check and look back. So, ang answer natin kanina is 25. So, we're going to multiply the answer or the quotient to the divisor. So, multiply natin yung 25, yung quotient na nakuha natin sa ating divisor to get 5. So, 25 times 1 over 5 is equal to 5. So, we can cancel 25 and 5. They are both divisible by 5. So, 25 divided by 5 is 5 and 5 divided by 5 is 1. Then, multiply na natin yung mga natirang numbers. So, 5 times 1 over 1. 5 times 1 is 5 over 1 is equal to 5. Therefore, 5 is equal to 5. Check. So, ang ating final answer is, Marielle is preparing milkshakes for 25 girls. Okay, so let's try another problem. In a school raffle, Louise and Lane won a circular-shaped chocolate cake. Their teacher divided the cake equally between them. Louise went home with half of the full cake. When her brother and sister arrived, she decided to divide the cake equally among the three of them. Louise asked herself, What part of the cake will each of us receive? 
By understanding the problem, we're looking for what is asked. So in the problem, what is asked is what part of the cake will each of them receive? Then the given fractions or numbers are one whole cake, one half of the whole cake, and the three siblings who are Louise's sister and her brother. Okay, next, plan for the operation, and we're going to use division and subtraction of fractions. Then our number sentence will be 1 minus 1 half divided by 3 is equal to n. So yung isang buo na kanilang napanalunan, ma-minusan natin ng kalahati dahil yung half ay yung naiuwi ni Lois at yung kalahati naman ay nakay nakay lane. Then, kailangan natin i-divide sa tatlo dahil tatlo silang magkakapatid na maghahati-hati sa kalahating cake. Okay, so the solution will be using the number sentence that we have uh, earlier, 1 minus 1 half divided by 3 is equal to n. So, 1 minus 1 half divided by 3 is equal to n. Then, 1 half since 1 minus 1 half is 1 half, divided by 3 is equal to n. Then we change the division sign to multiplication sign and we're going to get the reciprocal of our divisor 3. So yung 3 is magiging 1 third. Then change the uh, multiplication or division symbol to multiplication symbol. Then proceed on multiplying fraction. So, 1 times 1 is 1, and 2 times 3 is 6. So, n is equal to 1 over 6. Okay, so to check if our answer is correct, we're going to substitute the value of n. Yung answer natin kanina, ang value ng n natin is 1 over 6. Okay, so 1 half divided by 3 is equal to 1 over 6, and 1 half times 1 third so, change natin yung ating divisor sa kanyang reciprocal and also yung ating division symbol naging multiplication symbol. Kaya ang ating nakuha ay 1 6 is equal to 1 over 6. Check! Kaya ang ating final answer is Louise and her siblings got 1 over 6 of the whole cake. Thanks for watching this video. Hit like if you learned something from this video and don't forget to subscribe on this channel. Thank you so much.